what's up it's Kayla um, I am coming back from another long hiatus the reason why is because I have gotten involved in even more Jake drama and it was something that I thought I was gonna share with you guys but now I feel like it's kind of intimate information. It's his story that he should tell, not me. It's not my place. It's not my story to begin with, and it's his own life, his personal information, and I don't need to share that with the world. So that's kind of what had me hesitant about posting because I kept recording videos about um, ongoing instances that would happen and like should I post this should I not should I just keep this to myself should I let other people know about it but if you're wondering I will give a small update um Jake has unfortunately fallen into the depths of addiction again and we are no longer on speaking terms so I guess that's pretty much all you need to know, and that's as far as I'll go with that. But as far as me, as far as I go, I have been talking to other people. I have been going on dates, and it's been really fun. It's just been fun, like, getting back together with old friends that I haven't seen in a long time. Last night, I got dinner. I got sushi with my friend Alex who has been my friend for a number of years. You know, we lost contact and finally rekindled our relationship, and it was really fun. So I really appreciated our time together, and we got sushi, we came back, and we watched the controversial film Cuties. But it's a French film. It's about these five dancers. They're like 11 years old, and it shows a little promiscuous footage and a lot of Americans consider it like pedophilia, child porn, but to me it's not like that just because I am a francophile. I do sympathize with the French culture and I kind of know that they're more open about sexuality and stuff like that. So to them, I can see how it's not so insulting or offensive, but to Americans, it certainly could be, just because we're more sensitive to that kind of thing. It was fun. It was my second time seeing it, and I still have my same opinion. I still don't think it's like that bad. I don't think you could really consider it child porn, although it is certainly promiscuous to say the least. Um, but you should definitely go watch it, see it for yourself, give your own opinion, have your own thoughts about it. Other than that, I am talking to a couple people, nothing too serious right now, hoping for something in the future, but right now it's definitely too soon coming from Jake because that was a three-year relationship. I'm just looking towards the future. And also, in other news, I am editing a podcast for Katie, and so I met her through a friend, I guess you could say. So she's a friend of a friend. I'm really excited. Her podcast is all about cults and conspiracy theories, and I think that's so fascinating. I've always been interested in that kind of stuff, so I'm really excited to get started on it. I finally finished listening to it today. And I'm so excited to get started on editing it. So I just downloaded some editing software and hopefully I can get started tomorrow. And if it doesn't work on my laptop, then I can always go to school and edit it there. And so I'm really excited. I am, this is going to be really fun. In other news, to kind of add on to that, I did unfortunately lose my job which is a blessing and a curse, of course. I do love working. I really enjoyed my job there, but it just eventually wasn't for me anymore. I have debilitating social anxiety, so even just talking on the phone with people that I don't know and I can't see, um, it would give me crippling social anxiety. Eventually, I wasn't able to do my work as I should have. I miss it. I miss the people that I was working with, but also good riddance because there's so much I could say about that company that is so scandalous, and I'm kind of glad that I left, to be honest. 
But yeah, so that's kind of the news that I have right now. If you hear that banging, sorry. I'm having some work done to my mom's house, and I'm living with her again. So um, it's good and bad, you know. I love my mom, but sometimes she can get on my nerves. Sometimes I can get on her nerves, and it's just like that. We have a really good relationship otherwise, but sometimes we just kind of step on each other's toes, which is okay because in the end, you know, we love each other, but we definitely do get in some tips together. Other than that, things are fine. I have started to see a therapist, and that's been going really well. Last week's session was really good, and I think we covered a lot of things that are very important. Um, to help me cope with what I'm going through in my life right now. So that was really good and helpful. Today I saw my psychiatrist and I just wanted to be really open about my mental health, my mental illnesses. I am diagnosed as having major depressive disorder. I have bipolar disorder. I have um, social anxiety, like, like I said, crippling social anxiety. I have insomnia. I have daytime sleepiness slash ADHD. So I take a lot of medications. I take about seven each day, I think. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I told her that my social anxiety is worsening. It feels as the days go on. I feel tired all the time. All night I sleep. And then during the day, sometimes I'll even take cat naps. And it's just like I'm sleeping my life away. I don't know how to conquer that. I'm on medication for it. So she decided that I was maybe being over-medicated for my depression and bipolar. So she decreased those medications. So now I'm getting even less of my anxiety medication, which is what I think I need some of the most of. And so that's a little frightening to me. I'll let you know how it goes from now on and I'll see where I am in the uh, whole medication taking process. I just wanted to come back and say hello to all my lovely viewers. I've definitely missed posting. I've missed all of your comments. I've missed all of your views and I am just very thankful that I actually do have an audience that cares about me and what I have to say. And it's um, just really thoughtful and very uh, humbling, for sure. I just wanted to come back and say hi, let you know how everything's doing. Uh, for the most part, I'm doing okay. I'm really excited for what the near future has in store for me. And I will be back to give you more updates. All right, guys. Bye.